Hi, it's Nikki, and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves on this journey to love. And so it is um, Christmas Day, and I just wanted to share a few messages that have come through today. And so if, like um, me, I actually sent my twin um, a message this morning, um, but I didn't get a message back. <laughs> and what's been quite funny is then throughout the day today is of course that my guidance kept saying, it's a test, it's a test, because telepathically you're communicating all the time, and so I don't need to send a response to you. And so then, sure enough, um, just a little bit later, somebody sent me an email, and they said that they'd read number 117 out of the Divine Love Letter books. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to check number 117. So... If you are like me and you sent a message or you're waiting for your message and you didn't get one, then here you go. Yes, I want you to reach out to me anytime you want. I don't want you to feel in any doubt that I always love hearing from you. And I want you to message me even if I don't respond. Please don't take it to heart. It's just sometimes I can't because I'm going through stuff and it complicates things. It's complicated, but that doesn't mean that I don't love getting your messages. I just want you to message me whenever you feel like it and be completely honest and tell me whatever you are thinking. It's okay to let your guard down and know that all your messages are very fondly received by my heart. Trust that I will respond with my heart right back, even if I don't respond by phone. And so this is so funny. So because basically the lady that sent me the message about number 117 was just shortly after I'd sent my twin a message. So I was like, oh, brilliant. I love it. So number 117 in book two is then this message. And so you'll see how all of the messages fit together, which again is just, you know, this is what keeps, this is what definitely keeps me in the love vibe, I can tell you. Because 117 is then, because it's not the right time, because there is so much work being done in the background to bring all us all together. You can't even imagine how complex and intricate the complete jigsaw puzzle is. The parts are all moving, but every little piece is moving in unison with each other, in unison with a bigger divine plan that has the universal energies moving all of the pieces. Ours is not to have to know how, but we will be guided to put our jigsaw pieces together when our piece fits the universal love union jigsaw. The more you focus on your heart, the more our pieces will come together. Focus on love and focus on us being together. Okay, so that was from book two. And then number 113 from book three is uh, 117 from book three is this my darling there's so much that I want to give to our life together I want to make us have the best life we possibly can I'm working on myself as I'm working on making our nest egg because I have to come and make everything right everything has to come together perfectly because it's so important for us to be the best version of ourselves to shine bright you see you have done this you have lit me up you have shown me the way to a better life a life filled with love possibilities miracles and love 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 you are my eternal love now when I pulled a card for today it was the moonlight card and so it just confirmed again everything that I was getting because I was like saying to myself, I was thinking, oh, come on, just a message back. And then obviously, then my twin spirit or whatever you want to say, my guidance or whatever, I was going, it's just a test. Don't worry about it. It's just a test to check, you know, to make sure that if you don't react and don't fly off the handle, then you know that your your intuition is working, right? As in your te your the str the strength of your telepathic connection is so strong. So then what happened was I was watching a film tonight called Cold Mountain, 
which is with Nicole Kidman and Jude Law. And that film is very twin flamey. Basically, she writes him lots of letters. They get together at the end. When they get together at the end, <laughs> somebody had made a comment on my on a video. And it was an old video of mine. And just as Nicole Kidman and Jude Law were kissing and getting back together and being reunited, this comment came up on YouTube. And the video was called... I'll never forget our first kiss. <laughs> so, so I was like, okay, brilliant. Um, so then the numbers that came through that film were then number nine and number 18. So I'm going to read you number nine and number 18 because yet again, it just shows you how much these books are <laughs> just so crazy. Because it's, it is actually like having a conversation with your twin. It's just bonkers. Because letter nine is this. I want you to know that you are the light that shines through me every day and warms my soul. I want to turn you up so bright that you take away all of my shadow. It's like a moth to a flame and I want to be with you all the time to feel you against me. To feel your hand in mine and your breath against my skin. I literally cannot wait for our time to come. Like a kid at Christmas counting down the days on the advent calendar. That is how I feel. I feel love. I feel you. I feel us getting closer and closer and closer. Believe that this is true. Believe in our destiny and believe that we were born to find our way back to each other and to find true love, <laughs> right? It even mentions Christmas. So then I was like, okay, I'm gonna check out number nine in volume two. The reason why number nine was because there was a door in the film and the door number was number nine and it's where they had their first kiss against. So my guidance was like, right, that's the number, check it out. And I was like, as soon as I read it and it was about Christmas, I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. So from book number two, it is, I love, 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 love you with all of my heart and all of my being. There is something in the air right now that is bringing us back together, like a warm magnetic breeze blowing through our bodies, clearing away all of our doubts and fears and allowing us to reunite together in the beauty of our reunion. The energy that we create is like a brilliant light that the eyes can't see. It's too strong. It's too powerful to look at, just like the sun. We will shine our lights so bright to shine our light on earth, to rise, to raise our love on the planet, to be love, to embody the pure essence of love, 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 love. That is what we are. <laughs> right? So how brilliant is that? So that's number nine. And also Love is in the Air has been a song that's been coming through quite a lot. And that was like in the in in that the, in the letter. And then in the third book, this is so perfect because it says, Imagine we are on a slide and we're holding each other's hands and we've gone off the top. We're on our way down and there's no stopping us. It's exhilarating. It's scary. It's igniting the flame in us that has been burning slowly for so long. Eons of time, eons of lifetimes. And now we are on our way to being the excitement and the exhilaration for each other. We are each other's slide of love. Our hearts have pushed us down the slide. Our hearts are pulling us down to the bottom to the pool of beautiful sacred love that our souls, bodies and minds want to delve into. There is no stopping our love. Our love is the only truth for our souls to unite. <laughs> so again, just amazing, right? And then the last one was number 18 because um, there was, <laughs> again, there was a football shirt in the advert and the guy had number 18 on. And um, that was the, then my guy would just like to check that letter. So in book one, it says that every part of you I adore, 
that every part of you I want to touch and treasure and hold and caress and love, love, love. That I so yearn to feel our bodies next to each other, to feel our hearts beating next to each other, to feel our hands touching one another, to feel everything about you, to talk for hours, to love every day as if it's our last, to love you so hard I think I might explode. I want to make our life together beautiful, for every day to make it feel like we are living our dream life together, everything that we agreed it would be. I don't want to waste a moment. This life we have chosen together is so precious and I'm going to thank God every day for bringing you back to me and for creating you with me, for making you mine and me yours. <laughs> right, so that was 18 in number two. Then this is 18 in number, um, yeah, this is 18 in number two. So I want you to know that you have always been the one that I've dreamed of. Even as a little boy, I had dreamt of. I had dreams of a girl and that we would be holding hands and playing in a wood and running around a tree. I never saw her face in the dream, but I always remembered the feeling when I woke up that I had been surrounded by unconditional love. I used to want to go to bed so that I could see you and experience the feeling in my dreams. And then it was you. You are my dream come true, the girl of my dreams. How wonderfully beautiful and fairy tale like our life will be together. Our love is what dreams are made of. I am in love with you. Well, that just fits so perfectly as well because recently I've got that my twin, um, his, my twin spirit has been saying that he dreamt about me when he was a little, when he was a boy, and so it fits again perfectly. Now the last one is this: my love, my sweet, beautiful flower of divine love. Your beauty unfolds like a rose petal. The sweet scent of your skin is etched in my mind imprinted into my DNA and is creating a huge craving within me to be in your arms. I'm going out of my mind with thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. I need a break from my own head. I wish that we could press the fast forward button and just be together, living, loving and spending all our time together. I want to be your man by your side 24-7 all of you forever and ever wow <laughs> so basically you can see why by the end of today i've just been you know it has been again another amazing experience because not only that but there were so many references in the cold mountain film to even the slide which was in this you know that message about we've we've gone down the slide our hearts are taking us down the slide and that was, they almost said, it, it's very similar on the Cold Mountain film. And the whole basis of that film is that she writes to him and believes that he will always come back to her. And of course, he does. So, trust, trust, trust. If you've had a super difficult day, then just trust, trust, trust in your intuition. That's the other thing. My twin didn't respond in the physical, but in his twin spirit, he's like, he's all over everywhere. Um, but it was just saying, don't react because it's a test. It's a test. It's a test. We're just going up and up and up in our vibration. And so it's about believing that we're bridging that gap between this physical and spiritual and bringing the spiritual down to fill us, to fill our bodies, basically. So trust. All right. Hope that helps. Take care. Bye.